Welcome to a tutorial of Google Playbooks, version 5.1.9 on Android. This video was created with support from the Government of Canada's Social Development Partnerships Program Disability Component. The opinions and interpretations in this video are those of the creator and do not necessarily reflect those of the Government of Canada. It was produced with cited assistance. There is a lot of information on each screen of Playbooks, but the interface is still clean and well organized. It supports books in EPUB or PDF format. They can be copied to Playbooks right from the NELS repository, imported from your Downloads folder, or uploaded from Dropbox. A wonderful Read Aloud feature is available, but the reading position is not retained when Read Aloud is stopped and started. Image descriptions are also not read. Before you can import books from your device, you need to enable a feature. Open Google Play Books and tap the menu button at the top left of the screen. TalkBack calls it Show Navigation Drawer. Next, swipe down to Settings, press it, then select Enable PDF Upload. Finally, swipe to the right with three fingers to close the menu. Don't worry, you only have to do this once. Now, we're looking at the record for Treasure Island on the NELS website. When we press Download EPUB, followed by Open, we're asked where to store the book. Just select Open in Playbooks to import the new book. Now, if Playbooks isn't in the list of choices, select Chrome so the book will download. Open your Downloads or My Files app and find the book you downloaded. Double tap the title, then press Open in Upload to Playbooks. When the book imports, Playbooks shows it up in your list of books. Just tap the title to begin reading. Treasure Island is now open in Playbooks, showing up in the reading pane. To expose navigation controls, just double tap the screen. The Table of Contents button is located at the bottom left of the screen. Tabs to navigate by chapter, bookmark, or note are found at the top of the screen in the middle. Select a tab, swipe through the list below, and tap an item to go there in your book. A percentage slider is found at the bottom of the screen in the middle and shows how many pages you have read. Three buttons are found at the top right of the reading pane. From left to right, they are Search, Display Options, and More Options. Search lets you find text in your book. Tap Search, type the text you wish to find, then press Search at the right side of the keyboard. Swipe through the list of search results until you find the desired section, then tap the entry. Finally, Tap the middle of the screen to open the desired page. When you press More Options, you are presented with a menu of five choices. The first two are the most important. Add Bookmark will set a bookmark at the current page and close the menu. To start reading, all we need to do is press Read Aloud. It is worth noting that Fanny, the critic on the hearth, as Lewis fondly called her, was all this while uneasy at her man squandering his talent on young folks. To stop reading, tap the screen, press More Options, then select Stop Reading Aloud. Exit Book is located at the top left of the screen. This button returns you to the main screen of the app, where all your books are showing. Swipe through the list until you come to the title you wish to read. If you're finished reading it, you can swipe over to Options and press Delete from Library. Otherwise, just tap the title to open the new book. While reading a book, you can tick the bookmarks box at the top right of the screen to remember your place. Note that this tick box changes to more options when you double tap the screen. Playbooks is a good choice for both novels and reference material. Tables are easy to navigate, and internal links work well to jump to different parts of the book. It is a feature-rich app that works well with TalkBack. 